Historically, the Johns Hopkins Otolaryngology program has uh, very much valued training residents to be investigators, uh, not only in residency, but beyond. We've done that for 33 years in a T32 program. That's an NIH type of grant that specifically funds training. However, in a surgical training program, our trainees are justifiably concerned that if they leave their surgical training completely for two years, they lose their edge. So we wanted residents in these surgical training programs to be able to continue to have some clinical experience during their research training time. This program in its apprenticeship model really teaches the residents how to build a research program, how to balance clinical and research duties, how to staff and manage a lab, all of these important professional skills. What I feel really lucky about here at this program is not only are we learning you know, the clinical care of how we care for these people, but we're trying to make people in this program who can see a clinical scenario and come up with a research question. We as otolaryngologists are in a small field and we benefit our field most by taking on different perspectives. Residents in this program will learn you know, how to really compose a team, how to put together those diverse perspectives that make something really cutting edge and interesting. All the ingredients for success are here. Most of my current research focuses on the temporal bone histopathology. Hopkins actually has one of the biggest temporal bone collections in the world. Uh, it's really common you know, for people to either be a surgeon or a scientist, it's not that common for someone to be both. And I think that was something I didn't see elsewhere and attracted me here. It's not just that we say that we're researchers and we put people in those experiences in hopes that they get the most of it. We also have a curriculum to teach people how to do the research. It has been an opportunity for our residents not just to work with faculty in the department, but we really encourage them to work with faculty outside the department. Spawned many subspecialties essentially within otolaryngology. So I came into our residency program with the goal of having my own lab, identifying therapeutics that could reverse or prevent scar formation. I knew that the, the T32 at Hopkins would provide me the training with getting there. The T32 track changed my career trajectory and my career. It gave me an opportunity to work in a basic science translational lab looking at cancer genetics. As clinicians, we can't move the field forward. So that's why research is imperative to actually make advances and implement them to improve outcomes. I think the future for otolaryngology is going to be built heavily on technology and it's going to be built heavily on teamwork. And we have great faculty who are working towards that, but we need residents and trainees who will take us to that next level, who have new skills and ideas. Our system really contributes to creating leaders in the future of our field.